Hey, hey, it's Monday Mood. You know what that means? It is Scare Tactic Monday, episode two. And we are back in our original recording area. So I found this one. This one's from last December. So this is December of 2020. So I decided to go ahead and try and repurpose it, bring it back to life, if you know what I mean. Really hope the quality's better. It is, we're not even going to discuss what day it is or what time it is. Um, to say I got my Starbucks right here and we needed it. Um, I just got up and I worked a double. I worked um, 1.30 in the afternoon yesterday to 6.30 a.m. today. And I'm up already. My boyfriend, lovely boyfriend, called me and woke me up. Woo! I almost spilled my coffee. That would have been, oh my gosh, a morning foul. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. It's only 8 minutes and 41 seconds long. Um, I did find out, somebody did tell me that in order to not get copyrighted at all, I can play it out. I just can't have the audio going. And as long as I always put that I do not have rights or that this is not my own personal content. And I put their link in the description and the at and what the channel name is that I cannot get into trouble. So with that being said... Let's get started. Let's get scared. Like we went to this dam over the weekend. I guess some kid fell on it back in the day. And it's oh, maybe. Sorry. I'm having technical difficulties with the internet connection. <sighs> I don't want to add... Of course, when I go and record a video. And it's haunted, so naturally bring the family, check it out, right? So, guess. Oh my gosh. The internet cannot be that bad off, okay? Like, what is going on? I apologize. We had a lot of snow come in, and the wind chill makes it like negative 10 or negative 12 here. It's literally only 2 degrees. So I may not actually be able to get this video up, which would really suck. I guess some kid fell on it back in the day and it's haunted, so naturally bring the family. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. We're not going to be able to do Scare Tactic Monday because of the stupid internet connection. I apologize. I will try and do this again. Maybe. Is it going to work now? Why does that look like a face in the hole? Like right here, it looks like a straight up face. Like one of those... Um, like a little kid from what movie is that? I don't even remember. Come on. Seriously? Maybe it'll work. Fell on it back in the day and it's haunted, so naturally bring the family, check it out, right? It literally gets to that point and that's it. Oh my gosh, I'm over this. I'm so over this. That's a foot. Except for today. <laughs> Sorry, good. Every 
day it's black inside. I wanted to show you how a Ouija board works for those who wanted to know what it looks like when someone's actually using one. Notice the box says ages 8 and up, but if you're under the age of 18, you should probably ask your parents before doing it. Before starting, I light white candles. Here's me asking a few questions. I don't believe that for a second. There's what place? Oh. That one always creeped me out. But like, it could be edited in very easily. Has anybody tried that TikTok challenge? I have not, personally. I'll be telling you the story of Licking Me. So like I said, they heard really loud pounding noises echoing through the house, so they ran to the garage and locked it. Her mom then called the police and was like, help, someone's in our house. After what seemed like hours, two police officers finally arrived. They went to the garage to talk to them and ask them about what had happened, while one of them went to search the house. After the police officer finally came back from searching the house, he said that it was okay to come back in and that nobody was inside, but he did ask, whose room is upstairs? They looked at the girl and were like, that's her room. So then the officer asked the girl to follow him. As they were walking to her room, she noticed muddy footprints which led to her room. The officer pointed at her door which had been open the whole night. In black marker, times were written. Part 3 is already up and it's the last part. Hey guys, so today I'll be telling you the time I encountered shadow people twice. So the first time, it was when I was really young, I can't remember, but we lived at our old house. And basically, I was watching TV, and from the corner of my eye, I saw somebody pass by, and I thought it was my dad that had got home, but I just never noticed. So I went to look for him, and so I followed the shadow because I seen it went into my room. So I went into my room, and I saw it go into the like, bathroom. So I checked in the restroom, and it wasn't there. So I was like, my dad probably went in my closet, so I went in my closet nobody was there i checked the whole house and nobody was there and i know you're like why is a little girl like at home by herself well i've always been mature for my age so my parents could always trust me but yeah when i had went outside because i was like i know my dad's here like, and i'm not crazy i had went to check my dad's truck wasn't there and i was completely alone um come for part two i'll tell you about the second time i encountered a shadow person Hey guys, so today I'll be telling you about the time I thought I was going to die. So I'm the type of person who can't go to sleep without listening to music. It doesn't matter what kind of music it is, like, I love everything. So that particular night, I fell asleep listening to screamo music, and I had woken up to hearing someone giggle, and I forgot my music was still playing. So I reached to grab my phone, and I couldn't find my phone, and I kept hearing the giggles. So 
I turned on my light and I was looking for the sound because I'm just that type of white person who goes to the sound, you know, and doesn't even think. <laughs> Anyways, so I checked under my bed because that's where the sound was coming from and it was my phone. It was an intro to a song and it's just, I'll never forget that. Another time I thought I was about to die, it was like in the middle of the night, it was probably two. My LED lights were coming off, like they were like ripping off of the wall and it sounded like somebody was scratching my walls. And it's like, imagine waking up to listening to that. I was so scared. Manny Laviano. This is the room I'm staying in tonight. This is the, the murder room. Nope. Everything squeaks when you walk. <laughs> Everything. I feel like I'm gonna break all the lamps in this place. This is where I'm staying at. And this is where the stepmother got murdered, hacked, whatever you wanna say. Um, you could have paid me to stay no, somewhere right there. there was a murder. Beautiful this bed is. I'm not sure if this is the original bed. I want to find out when we do our tour. Hi guys. Here, so that gives you the picture. There's where she is. Actually, I think that is the bed. If you look in the mirror here, or this picture, it looks just like the bed right here. Alright, y'all. <clears throat> that was the video. Sorry we had some major technical difficulties. Episode 3 will be so much better next time, I promise you. Alright, and hopefully I'll have better internet connection and this cold, negative feel weather will be gone. Anyway, with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this. Go ahead and leave me some links or something down below and to things that you want to see me react to that are scary content. It does not have to be scary TikToks. It can be any type of scary content so long as it has not been reacted to before. And I will see you guys in the next video. I will see you guys on Wednesday for Bookish Wednesday. Bye.